Hello game devs, welcome back to another GVAL 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a player knockback in which you develop 5 whereby once our enemy is in collision with our player and knocks our player backwards. Um Okay, so um I now have a new Instagram account which is um, at the gem tube, you can follow me to get updates and upcoming tutorials and lots more. So let's begin. Um, we'll just open as usual. We'll give you a preview of this. Our uh, preview. Here we go, this is my player. Um and this is my enemy. Okay. And once my player is in collision with my enemy, here we go. Since he knocks my player backwards again, again, here we go, again. Okay, so that's how it works. So close that. Um, let's open Gval. Okay, so for those of you who are new to Gval, Gval is an easy to use game creator with no programming language to learn. So um, creating a project. So um, if you're new to Gval, um, I would advise you check my previous tutorial or the basics for beginners that should help you a lot you can get the link in the description of this video so let's use the platform of star okay so here we go this is scene um okay Let's delete what we don't need. Just delete this, delete this. You can delete the bottom, delete this coins. So delete the coins, delete slime mark, um, put this to the middle, and now let's change the sprites of our slime walk, which is an enemy. Edit object. We don't need the death um, animation because this is a death animation. So just delete that. And now delete this. Delete and delete. Add. Now so let's add in some sprites. Um, here we go, player walk all the way to player walk 7, which is the player walk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So select that, or you can just hold down shift and click on the last uh, sprite you want to pull into the scene. Okay, so just right click, um, copy, now right click again, paste. Okay, so open this, now edit to PSCO. First of all, we need to flip our player's um, sprite. We need to flip it horizontally, you can do that by clicking on the Flip, um, sorry, we need to flip it vertically. You can do that by clicking on the flip vertical um, to here. You can hold down shift and click on it. And here we go, it changes. It flips our um, animation vertically. Save. Okay, so apply. And pull this upwards. Okay, so we need to change some um, events which work 
with a slime walk that is when I play is on slime walk or is falling on the slime walk um, it changes the animation of the slime walk to one but we, since we don't need that anymore we need to delete it so just scroll down to enemies management that's where it's saved open scroll down here we go collision we play once play his boxes collision with enemy and play his boxes for me as you can see changes the number of animation of enemy to one which was a dead animation deleted so just right click target disable scroll to the bottom here we go number of color, number of animation of enemy so once this event sets was this condition sets the animation of enemy to one um this event activates the behavior and changes the opacity of enemy so we will still need that so if I go disable okay so there we go let's go back to the new scene of fans scroll to the top and let's create a new group My name is um, Knockback. Add a subcondition. Add a condition. Okay, so all, which is an advanced, um, rhythm through if one of the subconditions is true. Okay. So add a subcondition of. Um, Hit max is falling, so you got that falling player hit box is falling. So we're using our player hit box and not um, our player, our player hit box object and not our player object because our player um, sprite is linked to the object to the player hit box, and the player hit box has the platform will be here not the player so we we have to use our player hit box so okay add a sub condition collision so here we can choose to use our hit box or our player so for this I'll use my player object is in collision with slime walk which is an enemy Add a sub condition, jump in, hit box is jump in, add the sub condition or add a sub events, add a condition, three go ones. Well, through uh, add an action, jump again. So this allows our player to jump again, which is our player. It's boxed, jump again. Okay. So allow player it's boxed to jump again. That's when our player is fully on um, our enemy. Once it's fully it allows it to jump again, which serves at, as the knockback. Okay, added action. This simulates a jump key press. Simulates a jump key press. Here we go. Okay, so um, in case you're new to Jidaval, I'm sure you must have seen this. Um, here we go. We also have. A simulate okay we have a simulate up key press or uh, sorry simulate down key press simulate control and we also have another here well as you can see this is for the platform behavior and this is for the top down movement so um you have to use the right one for um depending on what you're doing so simulate um, a press of the jump key object hit box play hit box okay now add an empty fence 
add a condition horizontally flipped player. Now we have to use our play return true if objects horizontally flipped. So play is horizontally flipped. I'll just scroll down. Here we go. Now left key is pressed. This is an event. Once left key is pressed, it flips play horizontally. Um, yes. Once right key is flipped. Pressed, it flips player horizontally. No, so it won't flip the player. Now we have to use that here. So now, once our player is horizontally flipped, add an action simulate. Now we need to simulate a right key press. Same again here. You can see top down movement. Simulate a right key press, simulate right key press platform behavior. So you click on this, simulate a right key press for hitbox. Okay, add an empty fence, add a condition horizontally, flip, plan, open that up. Invert condition. So once you use the invert condition, it um it does the inverse of this that is play now play is not horizontally flipped at an action simulate. Okay, we need to simulate the left key press for play its box. Okay, now add an empty fence, pull this outwards, no, there we go, add a condition, collision, the collision, um, Player is in collision with slime walk. Okay, so player is in collision with slime walk and add a condition heat box. Sorry, floor is the name of the condition, is on floor. Heat box is the object, so player heat box is on the floor. Add a sub event. Add a condition of oh, horizontally flipped player if it's condition. Okay. Add a condition. Simulate a left key press for player its box. Add an empty event, add a condition, horizontally flipped, player, player is horizontally flipped, add an action, simulate, so we need to simulate a right key press, there we go, for our player, its box. Okay, so um, that's all the events you need to use. Now let's preview this. Okay, so here we go. This is my player. Um, this is my enemy. So here we go. So as you can see, it pushes my player backwards. Again, um, again, here we go. Okay, so, um, 
the main ways to do this are we can choose to add a force to our player rounds. Once your player, let's say once your player is in collision with an enemy, you add a force to um, an angle of your player's direction. And once um, the distance between the enemy and your player is, let's say, below 200 pixels, then you end the um, the force. Therefore, you can use the same variable to end the force. Okay, so that's how to create a player knockback. Um, thanks for watching and and do well to check my Instagram account. Um, again, at the chat suit. Thanks for watching.